last video, you saw how I walked through how to do a breadth-first search. In this video, I'm going to explain how depth-first search works. And what depth-first search is, is a, another kind of searching algorithm, and it has some very different applications than breadth-first search, and you'll see how it works uh, when I walk through the actual visualization. Um, one other thing you may, if you're familiar with the video I did on post-order binary search tree traversals, uh, you're going to see a few similarities between that and this. So I'm going to start off by giving you the properties, and what the properties are is you start at the root and you follow the leftmost branch of the tree as far as possible until you either find the node you're looking for or you hit a leaf node. So as you can see right here, we if we start at the root and give that a 1, we follow the leftmost branch. So we'd have a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4. So now we hit our leaf node, and the second property is if a leaf node is hit, continue the search at the nearest ancestor with unexplored children. And so this is a recursive call, and so what it will do is there are no more nodes here because 4 is a leaf node. So instead, we're going to turn around and go with the closest uh, ancestor, which is going to be right here because this is a, a ancestor is a child of three and so this will be five this will be the sixth item that we visit and then we'll go up to seven eight and now that we're on the eight remember we have this recursive call so if you ever wonder where you're gonna go from here remember you're always gonna go to the leftmost node possible. So we're going to come down here to 9, 10. Now 10 is a leaf node, so we simply go to 11 and then 12, and that's it. So this is how to do depth first search. As you can see, it's very different than breadth first search, where as with breadth first search, we started at the root, followed down to this level, to the third level, and to the fourth, and some of the numbering differences. This is the root is always one, but in the uh, in for breath first search, this eight was actually a four because it went one, two, three, and then four right here. So that's a uh, very important thing to know. Depth first search has a completely different use case than breadth first. They're both uh, data structures or algorithms that are extremely popular for certain applications. Uh, I personally don't haven't really found a need to use breadth first search um, or depth first search in you know day-to-day -day development, but that's mainly because I build out uh, web applications and mobile applications, and uh, these usually aren't used for that kind of thing. They're more uh, just things that you learn at, to learn more about computer science and algorithm development. So they're good to have a solid understanding of, but uh, they're not things that you're going to use on a day-in, day-out basis unless you focus in on that as a specialty. So that's depth first search. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever and I'll see you in the next video.